So when my dad passed away um, December 22nd, um, on my daughter's 13th birthday, my son went to take care of my dad's things and clean his house out. And um, one of the things he brought me back was my dad's table that he always sat at. My dad always sat outside, didn't matter the weather. He sat outside and he always sat at this table. And um, so my son brought me this table. This is, it's got a mosquito net around it. So, and I, I put a new umbrella on it. But, um, this is my dad's, this is my dad's table. He's got it where his name on it. Um, we painted his name on it, but this is his table. And uh, it's hard for me to sit at this table or enjoy this table. I don't have him here. It's a reminder to me that he's gone, that I don't have him. It's a reminder to me that he's gone and he should be sitting at his table. He should be in he should be here. He should be with us. He should be enjoying this. He shouldn't be gone. You know, it was a, a, it was the surgery went bad. The doctors messed him up when he did his surgery. They didn't do something right. They didn't put him back together right. He didn't make it back. He didn't make it out of it. He died of septic. Um, he, he died of sept being septic because they didn't put him back together right. Um, and he's gone. Uh, and we had no warning, we no no notice. He was going in for a minor procedure, and he was supposed to be fine. And um, so that's what I got of my dad is um, his table. And uh, I don't know how to enjoy it or, pre or yet. You know, it's still a stab in the heart. But I come stand at it, and that's where I talk to my dad at. That's where I feel him the most at. Cause I figure he's sitting at his table. You know, his spirit's probably at the table. So, um, I talk to this table. It's what I have up, left of him. I've got his iron and his ashes, but. The only difference is, he would have that table, if he was sitting at that table, it would be full of people. He would have it filled up full of people. The thing is, I've got the table and I have all of these seats, all of these places to sit, and I have nobody to sit back here with. Nobody to sit back here with. And I have all these seats, all these chairs, and no one to share any of this with. And if my dad was here, the table would be full. Every chair would be full. But he's gone. And I don't know how to fill, it, fill this, this backyard up with people like he did. Um, I don't know how to fill his table up. I don't, I don't know. I, I would like to honor him by filling his table up full of people. By filling every, every chair back here and having a gathering. I would love to honor him like that. Because um, that table was meant to have people sitting at it talking. That's what he that's what he did at it. That's how he got to know his neighbors. And he grew a garden and for all of them. And he kept them in fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff. And um that's what he did. He, um, but everybody come that sit at the table with him where he lived. And what I would give to be able to fill the table up for him with my own friends, but I don't have any. But that's what I got left in my daddy is the table. I painted the chairs black and I put a new umbrella on it, but I don't have the heart to paint the table itself because it has, it has his name painted on it. And I put a mosquito net around it. but. Um, his table sits there and I talk to it. That's how I'm dealing with my grief. Hopefully that helps somebody or maybe somebody can get something from that or maybe somebody understands what I'm talking about. I don't know. Just thought I'd share.